So here we have the Audi TT on a 56 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a two door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see that we have plenty of boot space along with that 50-50 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. We have the fuel gauge and cooling temperature gauge in the middle at the top. Over on the right, you can also see the total miles, which are 101,840. If we work our way over into the centre, just here, we have the stereo for the car. So you can see we have a CD player. We have FM and AM radio as well, uh, and the main volume for the stereo is just here. Beneath that, you'll then find the climate control. If I move the gear lever out of the way, you can adjust the temperature with this left-hand dial, the fan speed in the middle here, and then the direction the air is being distributed in over on the right-hand side. Once you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on and off again, or hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you, which you can hear it doing. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away again. We have a heated uh, passenger seat. We also have the same over for the driver side just there. This storage opens up to reveal some uh, 12 volt charging socket there, a bit of extra storage in the left-hand side section. Uh, we then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We can turn off the electronic, st electronic stability program, uh, the hazard warning lights as well from here, and we can open and close the rear spoiler too. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.